here is my situation. This is an oven that is stationary. And if I remember correctly, it's 400-ish pounds. And I need to be able to move it on occasion. And let me show you what we're going to use. Okay, let's preface it with, with this, that a while back I was contacted by uh, a group of people who had seen uh, the well video and wanted to know if I would be interested in trying out their shallow well pump and if I uh, just give my opinion on it, see how it worked, demonstrate how, how things operate. I said, sure, I'd be glad to do that. And uh, since that time, uh, they contacted me recently and asked if I'd be willing to uh, try another one of their products. Well, I asked what it was and uh, they told me, I was, that is exactly what I've been looking for. And here it is. It's a set of adjustable casters. And let's pull some pieces out so I can show you how they work very simple how this process works basically the most basic sense this is mounted to the so this is your leg or side of your cabinet it's mounted like that so your caster being mounted beneath when you lift up the handle it lowers this right you lift up the handle it raises the wheels up so your cabinet will be sitting flush on the floor and supported and if you ever need to roll the cabinet around, simply step on this, lower it, lower this, which presses the wheels down and it will roll around the ground. What I love about this, especially with that heavy oven, I want it fully supported on the ground all the way around. By engaging this system, it allows the cabinet to continue to sit on the floor as I need but by simply pressing that down, it'll roll. Now, again, these would mount to your cabinet here, or this system has, let's just call it a quick connect system, where you would attach two screws or bolts, slide the unit in, and I believe they have a locking pin, there we go, and a locking pin that will go in here so this can't accidentally slide out. And if you ever want to remove the whole thing, you just simply take that off and slide it out. This will be the only thing that is attached to your cabinet. So uh, I'm gonna get things set up and show how to install this. And this isn't gonna be like one of my normal videos where I do everything in one take. I'm going to have to move things around several times. So. Um, let, let's get started. All right, after opening the, the box and getting everything out, it appears we have everything we need. We've got some basic instructions. We've got our locks for the quick mount system. We've got our four casters, um, four razors. We've got all the screws. If we want to mount, th mount this directly to it, that's what these are for, along with the uh, bolt, excuse me, the nuts and the washers for the casters. Or we have the uh, bolts for mounting these, if we choose to go that method. And they even sent a 17 and 14 millimeter wrench. Okay, now let's get started. Well, I've decided I'm going to use the quick connect method to mount uh, these to my cabinet. 
Uh, one thing the instructions don't show, but should be self-explanatory, is how to mount the casters to the bracket. Um, if I was uh, going to mount, use this method to mount to the cabinet, I would mount this first before I installed the casters, just so everything would be out of the way. Since I'm not using this, I'm going to go ahead and mount all of the casters to the lift system. So all you do is put it through the hole, use the supplied lock washer and the nut and put it on and tighten it down. I'll get, I'll use the wrench, tighten this down and I will install this on all of the casters. Okay, we're about to put, finish the last one, but something I want to mention, I'll show you a mistake that you could make and you'll never guess how I figured this out. But when you do the installation of your caster, if you're installing them like I am uh, to begin with, you can't do it like this. You can't have it where this is underneath that because if you tighten it down, it won't, it won't open. Make sure that when you're tightening, tightening these down, Basically, let's say it's like this 45 degree angle, so this can't get trapped underneath there. So let's get the last one on. And it's pretty simple. You don't have to just really tear these things up to, to tighten it. Just get it to where it bottoms out. It'll just stop like that. We're, we're done. Ready to move on to the next, next bit. Okay, now we're ready to try to see about getting these things installed. We're going to use our plate and get it installed to mount our caster system. Now the instructions say that the plate, we'll use this, that's just, the, that's the mount plate, but that the bottom of this should be two inches from the floor to give three quarters of an inch rise. I don't need three quarters of an inch. I just need a half inch. So we're going to do these at one and three quarter inches. We're gonna use our quick mount plate. And I've got this at one and three quarter inches from the bottom, the base, inside base of the mount plate. I've already got some holes drilled. And we will see about getting this mounted. And see if we got it all. Now we just need to slide this in. Make sure it's open all the way. Just slide it in. And we'll use one of our securing tabs or pins. It's hard laying on the floor looking at this stuff sideways. Okay, there we go. That's not going anywhere. Now, something that the instructions don't say, I mean, they don't say many things, but when you put this on, for it to lift it up correctly, the caster needs to be spun towards the unit. If it's out like this and you go to lift it, it's going to apply the lift <laughs> that direction. So just a, a little FYI, when you get all these things set up, have your caster 
turned inward like that. Now we're going to get the rest of these things mounted up and see how it works. Okay, just a little supplemental information. These were the intended uh, attachers of this plate. They are intended to be um, run through the plate and bolted from the back and to hold it securely. I could not use them in, in my situation because mine weren't going through a leg. They were going into a, 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 a blind uh, secure, you know, through a, the base of something that I couldn't get to the back of. So if you can use these, they are supplied and that is their intended use. Uh, I just couldn't use them for my particular situation. Okay, we've got them all installed. Let's give this thing a test. We should just be able to press it down with our feet. It'll lift up, lock in place. We should be able to roll it. pounds I'm moving around but that lets me know it'll work so these are probably a good thing to check out if you've got a really heavy table or something that you need to move on occasion but also need it really sturdy when it's not moving around this seems to be the trick because when you drop them back down your whether cabinet, table, whatever, is flat on the floor. So I will put a link uh, in the description to uh, um, where I got these, and y'all may want to check it out. Uh, these are going to work very well for me because this has been a problem since this was installed, knowing that I was going to have to move it on occasion. I didn't have a good solution for that other than to find me some help. But anyway... Um, hope y'all found it helpful, and as usual, good luck with your projects.